Welcoming a new life into the world is one of the most special moments for any family. The excitement, the joy and hope that everything will go really smoothly are deeply felt. But what happens when those tears are shattered? And not by an unpredictability of a childbirth, but by the very professional entrusted with ensuring its safety. Hello and welcome to Times XP. It's me, Dwiti Athri. Now, in a heart-wrenching case unfolding in Nova Scotia, a woman has taken the stand against Dr. Mani Vasan Moodley, an Indian origin obstetrician and gynecologist at Cape Breton Regional Hospital. Now, this lawsuit stems after an incident that took place four years ago, during what should have been a joyful and precious moment for a woman, the birth of her child. The woman, whose identity is being kept private, shared her traumatic experience in tears. She described how, despite her explicit refusal, Dr. Moodley performed a surgical procedure that she clearly wanted to avoid. At the time, Dr. Moodley was not her regular doctor, but he was on call that particular night. The woman felt betrayed and helpless and her account has led to deep-seated distrust in the healthcare system. Now, in the upcoming week, it will see the College of Physicians and Surgeons of Nova Scotia review the serious allegation against Dr. Motley. Now, this includes inadequate communication with patients, impromptly performing a procedure and disregarding a patient's explicit wishes. Dr. Moodley, who studied medicine in South Africa, has faced similar issue in the past. Well, that's shocking. Now, four years ago, he was suspended for five months and was fined for $3,25,000 after two female patients accused him of making inappropriate sexual comments. Now, following this, he was required to undergo ethics training and have a healthcare professional present at all future appointments. During the recent hearing, the woman described how she had thoroughly researched childbirth and had clear expectations. Yet, she felt those wishes were ignored, where Dr. Moodley proceeded with the surgery without her consent. Her experience was marred by pain and trauma, overshadowing what she had been her golden hour, special time immediately after childbirth. Now, under cross-examination by Dr. Moodley's Indian origin lawyer, the woman admitted that she didn't directly communicate her expectations to Dr. Moodley or any nursing staff that was present there. However, she insisted that her wishes were clearly documented in her medical recordings. On the other hand, the defense argued that the high-pressure situation, medical staff must make swift decisions that the woman's expectations were not communicated really clearly. Then, in response, the woman asserted that she had hope for medical professionals to respect her wishes and provide necessary pain relief. Now, in conclusion, this decision is still pending. Though this case uh, might appear a little simple and clear, but the punishment or any sort of decision can change the future of medical procedure of the country. For more such information, do follow Times XP.